Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Alpha. For those of you that aren't aware, I have been reviewing Digital Homicides games one by one in order to find out if any of them are worth your time or effort in response to their decision to sue Jim Sterling for over $10 million for slander and defamation of character. I wanted to see if perhaps Jim Sterling was being too harsh on the brothers from Digital Homicide given their extremely heated past. What I have found since then has disappointed me, depressed me, disgusted me, and most certainly angered me, more so now than at any other time. Recently I released a video, Digital Homicide's Ripoff, a Sid Alpha rant, in which I discussed how I had discovered, somewhat to my amazement, that Digital Homicide had reskinned Hovering Hella Death as Starship Nova Strike and had released one of those games and had the other on Greenlight, despite them being the exact same game. I was appalled and rightfully outraged at the unmitigated gall these two developers had shown in attempting to rip us off in such a fashion. This type of thing, while not illegal, certainly should be as it is about as anti-consumer and duplicitous as you can get. To my surprise, I found out this wasn't even the first time Digital Homicide had done this. Oh no, no. Their shameless disregard for anything but their own pocketbooks is shown here with Krog Wars. And space-based game that is a clear redo of the old Atari game Alien Invaders. I was about to pass it off as harmless, and I was actually going to be somewhat neutral on the game as I reviewed it. It most definitely wasn't worth the $4 they're currently charging on Steam, but once it dropped to $0.99 cents or below, I thought it might actually be worth that price. Until I noticed some striking similarities. And then some more until I finally realized that this was a reskinned Wyatt Derp, and looking at the game mechanics and the storefront within the games, I realized it was the same bloody game. Again! I will actually bring up the storefront menus for both games so you can see them now. Also, take a look at the games and what they do, and try to tell me they're not the same fucking game. Well, this made me want to go and check out Wyatt Derp 2, and to my surprise, they didn't even bother to reskin the game to make it look different. They just changed the fucking camera angle on the goddamn game and attempted to pass it off as some sort of fucking sequel. Look at what happens when I clear an area in Wyatt Derp 2. In the middle of the screen there. That's the fucking area cleared sign in Wyatt Derp 1, just at the different fucking camera angle. They didn't even bother to alter a goddamn thing under than that. I will also show you the storefronts from both Wyatt Derp and Wyatt Derp 2. They're the fucking same thing. What these shitlords at Digital Homicide have done here is passed off the same game three times. Wyatt Derp and Wyatt Derp 2 are on green light right fucking now and once again Digital Homicide will get away with selling the same product over and fucking over again. Not on my watch, not if I can help it. Any form of defense I might have once had for Digital Homicide has been washed away by their blatant disregard for anyone but their fucking selves. Exhibiting blatant anti-consumerism and downright fucking greed, these shit peddlers cry foul whenever someone calls them out on what they're shoveling. Well guess what Brothers Romine, whether it be Jim Sterling, myself, or someone else, there will always be someone out there willing to take a stand and tell the bloody truth. You think you can scare negative criticism away by trying to take on a larger YouTuber, but the truth about your games will always be there right in front of your lying faces, and there will always be someone out there willing to stand up and warn the consumers to stay away from developers like yourselves. Clean up your bloody act if you want to stay in business, because trust me, people won't stay blind forever. And whatever form of reputation you might have left, is not going to remain there much longer. Not if you keep doing shit like this. Once again, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time. Hi there boys and girls, thanks for checking my video out. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even that subscribe button. Trust me, it works really good. Don't forget to share with your friends and if you're interested in following me on Twitter and Facebook, the links for that are in the description down below. I also have a Patreon if you're interested in helping to support the growth of my channel and the link for that is down below as well. And once again, thanks for watching and supporting my channel guys. I really appreciate it.